Hello everyone, um, welcome to another vlog. We are making shower steamers today. Uh, the shower steamers are uh, eucalyptus and peppermint with menthol. Um, this is good for uh, clearing your sinuses and it's one of my best sellers. So um, I thought why not show you all how I make this. So you know you all are aware of the process and if you all want to try it you all can go ahead. I will be uh, giving you all the measurements uh, during this video so you all know how much I use. So let's see. Yes, I have got my gloves on. I've got my hair pulled back and in a hair cover. Uh, so the first thing that I would be using is uh, baking soda. I use the uh, arm and hammer. Uh, I get this from Costco or Walmart because it's cheaper. Um, I would be needing around 2 cups of baking soda for this. I have measured out uh, 2 cups of baking soda. I run it through a sieve because they normally have these little clumps and they don't really work well in a shower steamer or a bath bomb. Shower steamers are uh, almost the same as a bath bomb except that you don't put in all the oils that you would normally put in a bath bomb because it doesn't you know get on your body it's just to be like an aromatherapy in the shower so it just goes down the drain the only thing that's uh, most important is the essential oils that get into your steam during your shower so the only thing I don't use uh, is the oils uh, which are uh, good for your skin uh, that I would use in a bath bomb but I don't use in a shower steamer. So after two cups of baking soda there's one cup of citric acid. I got the citric acid of uh, Amazon. After citric acid, you need uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Got this from Walmart. Just combine all the dry ingredients really well. Um, gloves are recommended because um, since we are going to be using uh, menthol which is uh, dissolved in uh, alcohol, in rubbing alcohol. Uh, and menthol is not so comfortable uh, when it's uh, in touch with the skin. Uh, you know how it is when you use uh, wicks or anything that you know to clear your nose and how it can irritate your eyes and nose. So that's why I use gloves. It's recommended, it's not a necessity, but yes, it's for your own safety. I have all the dry ingredients mixed in. I will add a little mica to this so that you know I I it's it's for me that uh, I just need to know which uh, color is for which of my scents in in the steamers. So it's just for my convenience. You don't need to add it because obviously it's not going to make a difference. So let me just get the mica and I'll show you. 
since we are making a eucalyptus and peppermint I thought the best color for this would be a green uh, I got this one from Hobby Lobby but these are not the ones I would normally use when I'm making soaps or bath bombs since this is not since the shower steamers don't come in contact with the skin I don't mind using these so just a little bit is good just to give it a little tint so that we know that a green is eucalyptus and peppermint so I do not have any problems when you know I am selling it at the market it's easy identification for me just get that mixed in well I'm not sure if you're able to see the color so well in the camera but there is a very slight tint of green and maybe I can just add a little more so it's fine this is so little that it will not stain your shower floor or you know your bathtub or anything like that so but then if you still feel that it can then you can just add a little bit of polysorbate 80 uh, so that you know the mica the color doesn't stick doesn't form again or doesn't stain your uh, bath floor but this is so small an amount that it really doesn't matter so i've gone this in i'm not sure if you can actually catch the color because but it will get a little more uh, darker when i add in the liquids for the liquids uh, i have this uh, this is rubbing alcohol and I have uh, melted some uh, menthol crystals in this so it's like I have taken 5 grams of menthol crystals to like uh, uh, 10 grams uh, 20 grams of rubbing alcohol I put it in there I dissolved it I make it and keep it so whenever I need to make a shower steam I don't have to go through making the solution I just put it in a glass uh, jar and I let it be there. So I will be putting around one tablespoon. And I prefer to use uh, 90 or 99 percent of rubbing alcohol, you know, percentage rubbing alcohol, uh, just so that the water content is less, so that it doesn't activate. Now to this, I will add uh, one tablespoon of uh, peppermint essential oil. I like to keep the peppermint a little low and the eucalyptus a little more on the higher side during the winters uh, and during uh, the allergy season uh, but maybe in the summers you know I will be adding peppermint more and uh, eucalyptus less so that's one tablespoon of peppermint I will be adding uh, one and a half tablespoons of eucalyptus essential oil one and a half tablespoon of the eucalyptus essential oil I 
I like to put the dry uh, ingredients into the the spoon that I take my essential oils in so that I get all the last bit of the essential oils and it's easy cleaning also you know so yeah now instead of using the spoon I will go in with my hands and I'll get this all mixed up we're trying to get uh, the same consistency as we would for a bath bomb so basically like when you press it together it has to hold so that's the kind of consistency that I'm going for if I feel that this much liquid is good enough I will leave it at that or else I would just spray in a little bit of uh, water it doesn't have to be distilled water it can be any water I don't know if you can you know see the very very uh, beautiful uh, light uh, green color to this I don't know if the camera is able to take the color show you the color but it, it's it's such a beautiful color and the essential oils are you know really working so well my nose is cleared already so yeah See, it's still not holding so well. It's it's crumbling, so uh, it's all mixed in well. But no, it's still breaking. So we still need to add a little more of uh, liquid. So I will be using water. I prefer water, uh, essentially because I don't need to use witch hazel, which I uh, normally use for the bath bombs because witch hazel is good for your skin but in this case water just works fine I mean people do use rubbing alcohol for this but uh, it, I tried it with rubbing alcohol it didn't work so uh, I prefer to use water for the shower steamers My water I keep in a spray bottle like this. So the spray bottle is just from Walmart, nothing fancy. I just give it a few sprays and I see how it comes along. If I feel it's good, then that will be about it. Or if I think I need to wet it a little more, I will do that. I usually try to make my shower steamers and bath bombs um, when it is not raining or it's not too humid uh, I do not have a dehumidifier so it's recommended to have one but I do not have one uh, so I just see what is the best kind of weather and I go about working with that I think yeah I've got the consistency that I need you see it holds the shape holds so it's wet enough I don't need to add any more liquids for this I use uh, moon press so I've already put in my mold in there and that's it and I get it in you know one of these uh, muffin trays which I got from the dollar store so all I do is just fill it up give it a little press 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 not sure if you can see that. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. 
I try to pack it in a little. I don't fill it to the top. I leave a little space. Press, press, and unmold. It's not. It's not very difficult. If if the mixture is too dry, uh, it wouldn't come out. It'll get stuck in the in the crevices of the design. But since it's pretty uh, well uh, wetted, the mixture it it's not so difficult to unmold. one more and then I'll come back and show you the whole thing when I'm completely done so I don't want you all to get bored seeing something that is you know a repetitive process so fill press 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 Unmold. I'll get you all back when I'm done with it. I'll show you how many I could make with uh, this amount. And uh, I normally sell it in a in a packet of two, uh, so it's like uh, around 80 grams uh, in a packet. So it's 40 grams each of these shower steamers. So these shower steamers for me, they normally last. Uh, for like two showers it depends on how much water you drop on it how wet it gets in the shower so depending on that it will be how much time it will take to melt away so the longer you are in the shower and the more water that falls on it it uh, that's how long it will last you If you have any questions, any doubts, anything that you'll want to say or you'll want to know, you all can ask me in the comments. Um, so I will try to answer to the best of my knowledge. And yeah, if you like to see these videos, uh, do like, share, subscribe. So I know that, you know, these videos are something that you all would like to see more and uh, I can make more videos for you all so yeah that's one tray so six of them done it's not too difficult it's not uh, so long you know it's it's an easy process shower steamers are something that's really easy to make so you all can try it yourselves so see you all after I finish with this whole thing and then there's another tip that I would like to give you all when you all are doing your shower steamers uh, they clump up like this okay in, in, in your mixing bowl so just try to break them up when you are uh, putting them in the mold in whatever you are molding them in so that you know they are not all clumped up and also try to see that it is still wet because it can dry. So just in between, you know, uh, just try to squeeze it, see if it still holds shape. Now this, if it gets too dry, it's not going to uh, hold shape and you will not be able to work with it. In case it gets too dry, it's simple. You just need to spray some water or rubbing alcohol or... Uh, whatever wet ingredient you're using for your shower steamer so friends this is uh, how many shower steamers i made out of uh, the amount of recipe i gave you uh, so it's like 12 um, which is like good enough for me to last me for at least one market I do farmers market um, so this should be good enough for that because uh, besides these I have other two fragrances also 
so this is what they would look like up close I'm not sure you're able to get the color really well but yes it's a nice um, light green Yeah, so these are what they look like i hope you like the video if you like it as i mentioned please do uh, click the like button uh, if you think others will benefit from this do share it and if you like to see more videos do subscribe thank you bye, -bye.